All right, let's go to the late window on Sunday. Chargers, Raiders, we saw this line open a little bit higher than the current number, um, but we have seen some dog money come in. We're, we're seeing, uh, again, I'll call it 3.25 right now um, as the number here on BetUS. This total is the thing that's intriguing me, though, guys, because it opened 43.5. I bet under 42.5 like two weeks ago, and in that span, we've seen it move down another two points. To me, that's the direction I lean here because I think – Harbaugh's turning this program, this Chargers franchise, into Ann Arbor South. And they want to run the ball and play defense, and they really don't care about doing much else. They do not have a number one receiver. And the Raiders have a very average quarterback and a very above average defense. So I feel like under, and then of course the divisional unders trend in week one, which Fez says is noise, and that's very fair of him to say, but it backs up the fact that I think this is going to be a phone booth game. Fez, what do you think? Oh, I didn't say the divisional... um... Unders was noise. I, I kind of agree with that with your analysis oh, okay. there because, okay. make, because that makes sense. I'm just saying most like 14 sure. and one type of trends are, are noise. Makes complete sense. Number one factor here that's going to be intriguing is who's the home team? Not really sure <laughs> who should get the home team. The Raiders are the home team. Yes. In LA? The Raiders exactly. are the home team. They're going to have 85% of the crowd. So yeah, absolutely. Do I, do I give the Raiders a half for home field? Or you should. Call zero? Exactly. I pass. Chris, I, you know, I, I, I've made comments that uh, I'm not worried about what I missed. Uh, I am aggravated. I don't have this under the under does look pretty tasty, uh, but it's fallen below, below that key 41. So uh, sitting it out for now, yeah. going to evaluate it and see what happens, see if it bounces up. But I do like the uh, the Vegas side of things. I don't think Harbaugh is concerned out of the gate with anything, but getting to know his team and, to do specific things. And as you kind of referenced, Jared, uh, control that line of scrimmage, start the Harbaugh way. And that can be a slow out of the gate process. Yep. Uh, so uh, I just think, uh, you know, I would probably take three either way in this game at this point, uh, it, it, you know, a typical division game. Uh, and I and I view these teams probably as dead nuts equal, frankly. Yeah, I agree. I, I think 41 scared me to give out an under 40 and a half on the show, but I, I do think this keeps coming down. I've already seen a 40 in one of the other uh, market-making books offshore. Fez, do you think the total does get bet back up, or do you think we see a, a 30s, a 39 at some point this week? Oh, I, I think these numbers have been in play for like six months. I know we've already yeah. had a drastic move, but like it might drop to 40, but anything more than a half point move, you know, would absolutely surprise me. I, I do personally think the Raiders are going to be terrible this year. And I think it's all about, you don't have a good head coach and you don't have a good quarterback. You win five games. That's a pattern I've seen in the NFL. And I'm very concerned that the Raiders are going with Minshew despite him looking terrible because they're paying him 15 million. So they have to, and I think O'Connell probably is the better of two bad choices. Herbert not getting live reps in preseason with a new offensive coordinator scares me. No receiving help scares me. Their offensive line's good, but then they went out and they signed, or I think they either signed or traded for Taylor Heineke after cutdown day. Easton Stick was a terrible number two quarterback, but a lot of times I've talked to you guys and a lot of pros about this. When a team brings in a position group after training camp is over, it's kind of them telling you we don't have a whole lot of faith in the depth at that position. And if the quarterback position becomes a problem for the Chargers this year, they felt they needed to bring in Taylor Heineke because they do not trust Easton Stick. And I think that also tells you that Justin Herbert is not 100%. I'm going under. Chris likes the Raiders catching three points in the battle of the AFC West Sunday afternoon. All right. 